Welcome back to another very exciting tutorial here at the PhotoshopTrainingChannel.com. My name is Jesus Ramirez, and you can find me on Instagram at jrfromptc. In this video, you will learn how to use Photoshop's Content Aware Scale. This video is going to be part of my Content Aware series. On my YouTube channel, I already have several other videos on how to use the Content Aware technology. They're grouped together in a YouTube playlist. There's a link to it down below in the description. But anyway, in this video, we're going to focus solely on the content aware scale, which allows you to resize an image without changing important visual content, such as people, buildings, and other important items in the image. Normal scaling affects all pixels uniformly, while content aware scale affects mostly pixels in areas that don't have important visual content. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two examples of how to use the content aware scale. We'll use a photograph and I'll also show you one of the techniques that I use when creating screenshots of user interfaces. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to work with this image of the Sydney Harbor. So we have the Sydney Opera House. And if you notice, this image is quite wide. It is actually wider than the canvas, as you can see there. And sometimes you may be working with images that you may need to fit in a required space. It may be a constriction based on the blog post that you're creating. Maybe it's a social media profile, or it could even be a magazine layout or anything of the sort. The point is, is that you're trying to fit an image into a predefined area or aspect ratio. In this case, this layer is way too wide for the space that we have. You can, of course, press Control T, Command T to transform and scale the image in. But if you do that, you will, of course, stretch the pixels and you will distort the buildings. I'm going to press the escape key to cancel that. And obviously, that is not the best way to do it. But in Photoshop, we can use a content aware scale to help us with this problem. So I'm going to go into edit content aware scale, or you can use the keyboard shortcut alt shift control C. That's option shift command C on the Mac and Watch what happens when I scale now. I'm going to click and drag from the left and notice how I'm not really distorting the image. Instead, Photoshop is collapsing the pixels that don't have important content. So we did not distort the Sydney Opera House or a lot of the buildings here on the left hand side. When you're done, you can just press the check mark. And now this image fits within the predefined space. I'm going to press Control Alt Z, Command Option Z on the Mac to undo. And I'm going to show you a couple of the features that this tool has. So I'm going to go back into edit content aware scale and notice the options bar. We get a few options. First, on the left hand side, we have the reference point. Notice that currently that middle box is selected. That means that the reference point is right in the center. That's default. This is where the image is going to scale from. Once we start clicking and dragging on the handles, I can click on these boxes and notice that the point moves. Now the point is here in the center on the right and I can scale and it's scaling from that point. Another important setting in the options bar is the amount currently is set to 100 and that should be default. This is the ratio between content aware scale and regular scale. At 100%, you're doing all content aware scale. But if I bring that back to zero, notice how the image will change. It reverts back to regular scaling. And of course, 49% will be about 50 50. So you're doing half regular scale, half content aware. In most cases, though, 100% content aware scale is what you need. You can also protect skin tones by clicking on this icon here. We don't have any skin tones in this image, so we don't need to worry about. But if you're working with a portrait, you may want to click on this icon to protect the person in the portrait. There's also this protect drop down menu, and it allows you to protect pixels in the image. And I'm going to show you how that works. So I'm just going to tap on this cancel button to cancel that content aware. And I'm just going to move this over to the right. And I'm going to show you how to protect the pixels on the left hand side here. So what you need to do is make a selection using the lasso tool. It doesn't have to be very precise around the areas that you want to protect. Also notice that I have a feather of almost 10 pixels. That's okay. That just means that it's not going to be a sharp selection. There's going to be some blurriness to it. Then I'm going to go into the channels panel, create a new channel and fill it with white alpha one. White is my background color, so I can press control backspace. That's command backspace on the Mac. So now anything that is white will be protected and anything that is black can be adjusted with the content aware scale. I'm going to press control D command D to deselect 
click on RGB and go back into my layers panel. And if I go into edit, content aware scale, under protect, choose alpha one, because that's the name of the channel that we created. We can scale that in and notice how the pixels in the white will be protected. Notice how none of those pixels are changing. Then you can click on the check mark and the scale is complete. Now I'm going to show you how I use this feature for something completely different. As some of you may know, I do writing for magazines and blogs regarding Photoshop, of course. And when writing these articles, I often have to take screenshots of the user interface and those screenshots need to fit within specific spaces. So I have this screenshot of the layers panel in Photoshop and this white space will represent the area that needs to fit in. So usually what I would do in the past would be to figure out the space that I needed. So now I know it's that space there and obviously it's too tall. So I would make a selection, hit the delete key, make a selection again and move that up and try to fit it within that space. As you see, this is very time consuming and is not very efficient. I'm going to press Control Alt Z, Command Option Z on the Mac to undo. But we can take advantage of that same content aware technology and use it to solve this problem. So what you can do is take your UI element, figure out how big it needs to be, and then go to Edit Content Aware Scale, and you can scale that in and notice how Photoshop knew exactly what pixels were irrelevant and it kept all the pixels that contained the detail. So this is a technique that I use that helps me speed up the process of creating screenshots for the articles that I write. Let me know if you come up with any other interesting ways of using the content aware scale. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to watch the other videos in this content aware series on my YouTube channel. Once again, the link to the playlist is right below in the description. If this is your first time at the Photoshop training channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.